helping people create a better world. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 203. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 203, February 12th, 2017 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and monitor your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred all of the written content for the form in our outer world lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan is purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of form in our outer world. Behind the scenes, we completed 100% of the written part of the reality lesson plan. We also completed the first 50% of the mind map for the sharing lesson plan, which you see here. In addition, the core team began creation of renders for the Ultimate Classroom Indigo Room that has a focus of global and historical perspectives and celebrating diversity, and the Blue Room that has a focus of communication, empathy, feelings, and the ability to express oneself, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team edited and added information to the Y section of the food bars page, as you see here, bringing the page to approximately 20% completion. Jennifer Zhao, web designer, also completed phase one of the edits and reorganization of the transition kitchen page behind the scenes, bringing that page to 40% completion. You can see screenshots of this work in progress here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team added people to the replacement tropical atrium images, added callouts, and revised the tropical atrium page shown here. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, joined the team and completed her first week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week, she researched the reservoir design, evaluated structural feasibility, and suggested changes, started SOLIDWORKS updates to the existing structure, and building the user interface for adapting structures to different size needs, as shown here. Christian Ojeda, mechanical engineer, completed his second week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower designs. What you see here are minor modifications to the structure in version 2.0 of 3D modeling the pipes, point of use heater, thermostatic mixing valve, and heat exchanger. Adrian Gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, also finished her eighth week helping create the standardized AutoCAD layers and line weights template and tutorial. This week's focus was beginning in AutoCAD blocks template and writing drafts one of the AutoCAD layers and line weights tutorial. And Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. 
Here's update 55 of Dean's work, focusing this week on the east side living spaces and this final render of the west side looking north. Juming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his 12th week of this work, focusing on applying our chosen color palette to the outside of the village to provide these color options. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 30th week helping with the compressed earth block village pod 4 design details. This week's focus was updates to the kitchen and front entryway textures and furniture and lighting within the living spaces. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team replaced all the people and updated the Duplical City Center kitchen final render, which you can see here. In addition to this, Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, helped us create this updated and final render of a person sitting by the window in one of the city center rental rooms, and this first generation updated view of the rest of the room. And Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, continued her research helping us create an in-depth washing machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her 21st week of behind the scenes work on this area of the project. This week's focus was updating the graphics you see here and writing the project specific content for the tutorial. The core team also started editing and formatting last week's content for the Eco Laundry page on the site, as you can see here. Ramya Vudi, electrical engineer, and Shubham Agrawal, electrical engineer, continued their work on the energy infrastructure for the city center. This week's work focused on finishing the research and selecting the multiconductors and conduit types. Here are pictures of this work and from our weekly collaborative call. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, also completed her fourth week working on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was continuing the foundation design detail tutorial with a focus on the overview details and footing design specifics, as shown here. And Henan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his eighth week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was 3D updates and design details to match the mezzanine level to the new geometry of the dome, as shown here. Lucas Tsui da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, also finished integrating another round of sensor and automation component updates for the control and automation systems layout, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished another round of developing the new highest good education video intro you see here, and also this new overview intro. One Community is a 100% volunteer-operated, non-profit, and non-governmental organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued with his 17th week developing the new search engines for our site. This week's work included integration of the first round of edits to the Highest Good Food search engine and final revisions to the Highest Good Education search engine that is now 100% complete and live on the Highest Good Education main page. One of the biggest reasons that One Community is doing what it is that we're doing is because we're interested in helping people create a better world. And we think that if we can make the whole process of creating a better world easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And so to accomplish this goal, we are open sourcing and free sharing all of the foundations of sustainability. And not just sustainability, but an evolution of sustainability that combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability to create a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. Those foundations are food, energy, and housing on the physical sustainability side and on the emotional sustainability side. The foundations that we've identified and we are focusing on first are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as a teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub, purpose to create additional teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Our idea as I said, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate attractive enough, that we will be helping people create a better world by helping them to create a better way of living for themselves.
demonstrating a way of living that's better than the way they're living right now, and open sourcing and free sharing, all the steps necessary to replicate that model. And that model is built with the consciousness for the highest good of all by people who believe that it's possible to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And sharing that, open source and free sharing that so that people that, regardless of whether or not they agree, can replicate it, but with a foundation that works best when it's shared. A foundation that is built on open source and free sharing, that's built on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition, that's built on people working together, that's built on community making. Not necessarily sustainable communities, although one community will be an eco-village community, a sustainable, self-sufficient community that people can visit, but also providing the foundations for people to create communities of other types as well. Economic models, the fulfilled living models, the stewardship models, as well as the education models, all of those purpose to help people to create communities anywhere in the world, designed to open source and free share evolutions of all the ideas that we're starting right now, adaptations, modifications, different ways to replicate so that we can work together on creating this world that we know is possible. Helping people create a better world by helping them create a better world for themselves. And for those that are interested in really helping create a better world for everybody, we're providing that as well. Operating as a 100% volunteer organization, organizing, volunteering our time, creating this because we know it's possible. We know that now is the time. And it's obvious that for the first time in the history of the world, we have the ability to reach out to a global audience, bring together a global group of volunteers. And with that very small, minuscule, almost insignificant percentage of the human population, create massive, object objectively measurable, transformational global change capable of helping people create a better world for everybody and helping to create a positive, sustainable living experience for everyone on this planet that has the, the potential to positively impact every single person and ultimately every living creature on this planet by creating a sustainable world for everybody. How? By making a self-replicating model easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough that it becomes self-replicating, a sustainable, self-sufficient model rather, easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough that it becomes self-replicating. Making sustainability viral as a living experience. This is what one community is doing. This is how we're helping people create a better world. And this is what you see us reporting on week after week and sharing. If this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to get involved with, like I said, we are an all-volunteer organization. You were definitely invited to participate. There's lots of different ways to do that, ranging from the pioneer team, which are the people that are planning to move onto the property and build one community as an ecotourism destination, to live at one community, to operate it full-time, so that people can come and visit and experience everything that we're doing and take what they like and replicate it, or join us as another collaborative entity working together or join us on the property, or you can join us now as a volunteer helping behind the scenes, collaborating with us, just like the rest of our volunteers, sharing your expertise, helping us to open source and free share all the plans, tools, tutorials, resources, everything it is that we're creating. Of course, the easiest way to help us out, and if you're interested, is just to share information on social media. People say, well, what's the easiest way that I can help out? Is it donating? Yes, that's easy. Definitely, that's one of the easiest ways. Even easier than donating, arguably, would be sharing our information on social media, and it is also very, very important. Of course, small donations that, that we get are also very much welcome, very much appreciated, since we are also, as an all-volunteer staff, we are, of course, an unpaid staff, which means myself and nobody else on my team uh, receives any money for what it is that we're doing. So all the donations that we go help to cover our foundational operation expenses uh, for maintaining a global organization and, and uh, the website, the massive hundreds and hundreds of pages of our website and continue to evolve everything that is that we're doing and just covering our basic operational expenses. So thank you for that as well. Of course, people say, well, what's the biggest thing that I could do to help out? One community is still seeking large-scale funding. So in our goal of helping people create a better world, our primary focus right now is on open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources on finishing the plans so that when we receive the large-scale funding that we're seeking, we can purchase the property that we've been looking at for six years now and we are still focused on so we can get that property off the market so we can disclose that location so that we can start open sourcing and free sharing all the details that we can only do when we are sure that that location is going to be our location because we've actually taken it off the market and so that we can take the whole open source and free sharing process to the next level as we build and expand our team you know multiplying it exponentially 
through sharing that, legitimizing our project at that next huge level by being able to say, hey, we have the property, this is where we're gonna build, which is the number one question that we get. And uh, this is the specifics of that location and why it was chosen. Now you can read about the details of that on our website as far as the 30 different criteria that we chose for, or that we had for choosing that location, but we can't disclose the specifics until it's off the property. So until it's off the market. So if you or somebody you know has the resources or knows somebody who has the resources, to help us get the property off the market, then we would love to speak with you. We're looking for a large scale donation or for a large scale investing in one community so that we can take the project to the next level and we'd love to speak with you. In the meantime, we'll continue doing what is it we're doing, open sourcing all the details, the food, the energy, the housing, the high school education model, which is God, it's years in the making and it has ridiculous amounts of pro uh, progress as well as all the foundations of infrastructure, the econo economic models, the fulfilled living practice models, as well as the truer true stewardship. Putting all that together, collaborating with people, everyone that we can find that share the consciousness for the highest good of all, that see our ability to help create a better world for everybody as a time that is long overdue and as something that is totally, totally possible and bringing everyone together to work together to create this evolution of sustainability so that we can share it, so we can open source and free share it with everybody and allow people to participate in whatever way works best for them. Why? Because we see a comprehensive model, a model that simultaneously addresses all of the greatest challenges of today with the adaptability for tomorrow as the only real solution. Because we see all the challenges today as not only interrelated, but we see the solutions as interdependent. We see each little component as connected to all the others. And so we see a comprehensive model with the, with the flexibility and the sustainable foundations capable of addressing them all simultaneously as the solution, the path to a sustainable world for all of us. And this is how we're helping people create a better world is by creating the open source and free shared foundations that it's the solution for all these things simultaneously. And I talk about it every single week. You can ask me about any one of them and I could show you how this is a path to addressing that specifically because they really are all connected. And by providing abundance for people on the individual level and for local communities, we can provide abundance for global communities by working together and cooperating and collaborating as, as one human family with the goal of a sustainable planet and a world that truly works for everybody. The time has come and this is what we're creating. So thank you for following our progress. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to how we're helping people create a better world and all the open source content and things that I've talked about in this video, visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every week uh, that one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to One Community Updates and we'll add you to our newsletter list and uh, you can receive updates that way. Of course, thank you for following our progress. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us through social media if you prefer to do it that way. And uh, as I always say, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.